What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. Wow. All right, guys. There is uh, a high tension right now in Nigeria as the second wave of NSAS protests is, has just begun. And this time around, I'm going to tell you what and what and what actually triggered it. Because uh, from the look of things, some people might say, yes, okay, there is a judicial panel of inquiry that is actually set up to look into uh, some of the ills that was actually perpetrated against the answers and the aftermath of the answers. But looking at it, recently, we saw how the police, you get me, instituted a court case against the legality of the judicial panel probing police you know and so this is one of the things that have triggered him remember immediately the police you know what I mean, went to court to uh, seek the court order nullifying all judicial panel that was that is set up by various states you know the answers protest now was born again the second wave now get started and again if you want to look at it again you discover that um you discover that the government have been making threatening statements against the answers for instance Alai muhammad he has been making threatening statements that they cannot that any answers it will be seen as terrorism act that's what Alai muhammad said and this is not he, this shouldn't be coming from information minister in fact he the way he has been so um uh, uh he has been he has been so spurious against the answers just of recent. He appears as if he's even the president. You get he's the one leading the entire cabal. Because from the look of thing, you discover that the answers protesters are seen every of government effort as being futile. They look at it that the government is not serious in curbing police brutality, and that is why they are coming back to the to the street again. You get, and you know one thing. Um, the senior president made a statement. He said that the government have not learned from one thing. They have not learned from the aftermath of the first NSAS protest. They have not learned anything. And now the second one has just begun. How are they going to contain this, especially in the light of international scrutiny? So watch this video and then you let me know what you think. Agitation of the youth, yes. of the whole people, yes. the children, yes. the yet unborn, yes. and future generations. Yes. My brother, we might not be opportune to live in good countries, yes. or might not be opportune to have been in good countries. Yes. For those who have been there, no, those who are there yes. at work for their generation. Yes. And we are healing and running elter scatter uh -huh. to go there because we find it to be a place for our generation to stay. Yes. But why are we uh -huh. not to fight for our own self in this country? I was not happy. Yes. I know my principal will say I'm a lazy boy. That's why I'm not in office today. <laughs> yes, no. But it is inconsequential. Yes. What matters most that we still are saying. He said without courage in life, man has no value. Yes. Said, courage is highly estimable. Yes. Without courage, you cannot achieve nothing. Yes. I'm telling you, even the whites, the whites that have colonized us are bastard, I tell you. Yes. They are totally irresponsible yes. governments. Yes. And they must come and join us to repair what they have destroyed yes. over decades. Yes. Taking us as slavery. A lot of people's names were not.
guys just like i said uh this government is uh an oppressive regime they are not ready to meet the demands of the NSAS, and that is why the NSAS is back remember even the police have been saying that they cannot uh tolerate any other protest again and that um any protest in fact the ig have threatened that there is going to be shoot aside order that's what he said there's going to be a shoot aside and this is these are one these are some of the threatening statement they have actually made and you look at it that they are not serious to me the demand of the answers for instance look at the people that have been arrested they have been extra judicial killing on the part of the police you get me and then also to uh, account of answers protesters have been frozen so you can see here that these are the reason these guys are back on the streets uh, once again that there is no sincerity on the part of the government and even the various um, the various judicial panels set up by states to look into police brutality is just a sham and just a ploy to buy uh, more time and that there is no seriousness in it for instance we saw how recently the police you get me instituted a court case against the judicial panel and their legality to prove uh, the police if not that the answers once again uh, threaten and start stripping to the street the police the IG of police feign ignorance that he's not aware of it and all of that and that goes a long way to show that the government is not serious because how can the IG of police feign ignorance that he's not aware of it and he's trying to investigate it it shows uh, that it goes a long way to show that the government is not serious to meet the demand of the answers so what do you guys think please I want you to drop your comment below uh, let me know what you think. This is the Macom TV. God bless you.